हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल ये नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट अ पर्सन इज परफॉर्मिंग स्लो आर्म कर्ल्स विद अ 10 के जी वेट एज इंडिकेटेड इन द फिगर एंड द ब्रेकियलिस मसल ग्रुप कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द बाइसेप्स एंड द ब्रेकियलिस मसल इन द इज द मेजर फैक्टर इन दिस एक्सरसाइज so in this problem we are required to determine the magnitude f of the brachialis muscle group right so we have to find the combined force of both of these muscles right so let's say that this the force of these two muscles is represented by this force f in this free body diagram right and the magnitude e of the elbow joint is also required right so at this joint e we are required to find the reaction the com the combined effect at this point e right so let's say that the reaction at this point e in the x direction is ex and let's say in the y direction is ey and this is our positive x and positive y direction right and we are given that the weight of this portion of the lower arm is 1.5 um, the mass is 1.5 kg so the weight is 1.5 times 9.81 so the weight is 14.72 newtons and this mass has uh, is equal to 10 kg so its weight is 10 times 9.81 so it is 98.1 newtons right so again in this problem we are required to find this force f and the total reaction at this point e right and we are given these dimensions 200 and this is 100 mm and this is 50 mm and this is 350 mm right so these dimensions are given now if we uh, extend the line of action of this force and if we draw a vertical line here so we will get this triangle right so let's say that this force is making some angle let's say that this force is making a uh, alpha angle here right and the assumption in this problem is that this point e and this point a they are uh, lie in a horizontal line right so they lie on a horizontal line now if we apply the summation of moment at point e equals to 0 since the system is in equilibrium and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive this will be one component of this force f which will be acting vertically upwards and if this is alpha so then this will be the sine component right so we can say that this is f sine of alpha and it will have one another component which will be acting at this point and this will be the direction of that component right so this force f will have two components right so as we can see that this component is passing through that point e so it will not produce the moment so only this component will produce the moment about this point e right so now first we have to find this alpha angle from this triangle so from this triangle we can say that tan alpha will be equal to this perpendicular perpendicular is 200 divided by base so this base this ea distance is how much so this ea distance is 50 mm right so we will divide it by 50 so alpha will be equal to 10 inverse 200 divided by 50 so this alpha equals to 75.96 degrees right so this is f sin of alpha right so now uh, if we apply this equation so as we can see that this uh, sine component of that force f is producing the counter clockwise moment about e so we will write plus and that will be f sine of alpha and alpha is 75.96 and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point e is this much this 50 mm distance right so we will multiply this with 50 similarly this weight is producing clockwise moment so i will write plus uh sorry minus and this will be 14.72 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance of this point g or this force from the point e is 100 plus 50 right so this will be 150 mm similarly this weight is producing clockwise moment about that point e so again we will write minus and this will be 98.1 into the perpendicular distance so this 350 mm is the perpendicular distance so we will multiply this with 350 and this will be equal to 
from this equation we get f equals to 753 newton this is approximately equals to 753 newtons right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero since the system is in equilibrium right so as we can see that this e x is acting in the positive x direction so we will write e x and the component of this force f this component right so this component is the cos component right so it is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus f cos of alpha right so f is 753 cos of 75.96 and this will be equal to zero or we can say that ex is equal to the cos component of that force f so from this we get ex equals to 182.68 newton and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so as we can see that this ey is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus ey similarly this sine component is, is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus and this is f sine of alpha so f is 753 sine of alpha alpha is 75.96 degrees similarly this weight is acting downwards so we will write minus this is 14.72 and this is also acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 98.1 and this will be equal to zero from this equation we get ey which is equal to 617.69 newtons right so to find the total reaction at this point e we will apply the Pythagoras theorem so E will be equal to E x square plus E y square under the root 2 right so this will be the total reaction right so this will be that E right which will be the combination of both of these right so this is E x square plus E y square under the root 2 and E will be equal to so E x is 182.68 square plus 617.69 square and this is under the root 2 so from this the reaction at e is approximately equal to 644 newton right so this is the solution of this particular problem